So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Then my old pals are back in town. <laughs> it's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the hive. It's Barnet v Stockport County in the Vanarama National League. So last time we played each other, I upset a few Stockport fans. It's not like me to upset someone, is it? So I've come prepared this time round. I've got you all a little something so it can help you with all of your bitching. You never help, and I am expecting you ever. Really? Fall back! But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get to football news. So Stockport County were crowned champions last season in the National League North, where they played 42 times, winning 24, drawing 10, losing 8, scoring 77, conceding 36, giving them a goal difference of plus 41, and they ended on 82 points. And now they join us in the National League. Welcome! They currently sit 13th, and their last five games have been two wins, one draw, and two losses. <laughs> Jim Gannon is still in charge and he's now taken 222 games, winning 116, drawing 52, losing 54, giving him a win percentage of 52.3. Number 10, Elliot Osborne, who has four goals in 20 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The second of the 12th, 2018. Barnett's one, Stockport County nil. Dan Sparks heading home with Shea Alexander Cross. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Stockport County. How's it feel knowing that you was in League One playing the likes of Leeds United? To then Conference North in four seasons playing Leamington. Keep singing about the scarf your father wore. We ain't even got any in our club shop, you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnett. <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnett today in a 4 2 3 1. Loach in goal. Your back four is Shalix on the right back. Elliot Johnson at left back. Your two centre halves, Captain Cannon Reynolds. And a change to the starting lineup, Dan Sweeney. Two centre miss today, James Dunn and Harry Taylor. Three in the advanced midfield role. David Zatondra on the wide left. Everett Mason Clark on the wide right. And Medi Leto in the number 10 role. And Josh Walker up front. And this is our Stockport County lineup in a 4 2 3 1. 20 minutes in, it's currently goalless. It's been so much better than it was against Fleetwood. Stockport have been Working well down our right hand side. Rooney and Minan have been working quite well. Nothing that we can't handle with. We've been a better team going forward. Josh Walker's had a couple of chances where the keeper's saved with his legs. He's had another chance. The keeper saved. It's gone right out to Tatonda and he's blazed it over the bar. Opportunity there to go 1 0 up. 10 to the half. Still 0 0. Nothing has changed. Stockport keeper's kept in a minute of a couple of saves with his feet and a couple of gold mass scrambles. Stockport ain't offering a lot going forward. A couple of minutes to the half. Score hasn't changed. We had a great chance where Tatonda's laid the ball off to Medi on the edge. The area. He's had a shot. It looks like it's going in. Stockport County player just gets in the way, defects for a corner. We've done nothing with it. Oh, 
half time here at the hive, it's Barnet nil, it's Stockport County nil. We should be a couple of goals up, but then if my uncle had bollocks, she'd be my uncle. A lot better performance than it was against Fleetwood. It's just again that final third where we still lack creativity and ideas and a bit of leadership just to try and have a crack at goal. Keep us safe them a couple of times. Stockport haven't really troubled us going forward. They've played it well in part. It's only nil-nil, so it can swing either way in this second half. I've seen it all before, where we add player team, then they go and get the goal, and that's it, edge drop. Let's see what happens in the second half. Come on, Barnett. Five minutes into the second half, it's still goalless. Pretty much the same like the first half for us. We're getting in the right areas. It's just that final third where we're not putting the trigger up, wasting far too many opportunities. Yeah! 69 minutes in, Barnet won, Stockport Panty nil. Everett Mason Clark, he was in the moment he left his foot. Pels it into the bottom right hand corner. Left foot just outside the area. 15 minutes to go, Barnet won, Stockport Panty won. Long ball from the keeper all the way over to our left hand side. Minian driving at us, whips the ball into the box. A couple of rebounds, it lands to Osborne. Good strike and it's 1 1. 10 minutes to go, still 1 1. Still no changes in the formation, still no subs. Lack of ideas yet again. With five minutes of normal time it's still 1-1 but the game has come to life in the last 10 minutes oh. Medilito has a good Probably shot no, and the keeper good. has got a finger to it that should have gone for a corner the refs gave a goal kick mine. from that poor decision Rooney should have punished us to make it 2-1 to Stockport he's done Sweeney like an up dog he's come in and Loach just dives on that ball and grabs it 89th minute Barnet 1 Stockport County 2 corner from Stockport I can't even see what's happening because there's too many bodies we're all arguing with each other saying that someone hasn't done their job this this game was here for the taking, and now we're losing it. Embarrassing. Just added on three minutes of the 90. So the game finished, Barnet 1, Stockport County 2. So what have we learned since Darren Curry and Junior Lewis have taken charge? The only move from the FA Cup run is well and truly over. We have no game management, we have no bollocks, and we have no direction. We've, of course, no tactical awareness yet again. How many times have you heard me say we dominated games, yet we've lost? We play good and we lose. We play shit and we lose. This just ain't gonna change, because the pair of them... Do not listen. Yet another game where the team we're playing is there for the taking. But we've come away with nothing. Remember when people said that Rossi was a nice guy, just needs a little bit of time. We won't go down with this squad. We're too good to go down. It's he's number two, that's the problem. Need to get rid of Alex Armstrong. He's the one that's the trouble. Remember when everyone was going on about that? That started off pretty much like this. I remember no wins in 15. Remember how that season turned out? We've seen it all before. And that's exactly how this season's going to go if we continue to bear Bury our head in the sand. Two wins in 12 games. It's another season wasted where everyone has had more than enough time to sort shit out. I don't two people in charge who have played at a high standard know how to kill games off and see games out. So keep throwing the players under the bus because it's never your fault. I forgot. It's all our fault. But you're right, Darren. We do need a change in personnel. And that needs to start with you and your number two. I've lost count how many times we've thrown points away this season. If you insist on playing the same form Formation, making subs with 10 minutes to go when you sent a striker out on loan you deserve everything that's going to be coming to you and I can't wait for Barry away up a crack of dawn for that one Darren Curry out Junior Lewis out TK sort it out ta -da. bitch the door